video here going over my truck while I'm out here camping. Um, and you know, my setup looks really nice right now, I think. So uh, I get a lot of questions about it. And uh, right now, you know, I do have a 2018 Toyota Tacoma. It is a TRD Sport. Uh, so no lockers or anything like that. Sorry for the mess right now. Um, I guess we'll just kind of, we'll just start from the front. Um, so I've got like the alternate grill um, with the radars and everything in it. Um, when I bought the truck, it did have like the uh, quote unquote Raptor style lights. I got rid of those and uh, didn't really like the way it looked. Um, as we kind of come around here, um, do have some uh, black Rhino wheels. I really like those a lot, um, been a big fan. Um, a lot of leaves fall, I'm gonna have to clear this out. Um, need to actually clean down in there soon anyway. But uh, have some uh, ditch lights here, um, angled outward, don't really use them that much. I'll show you in a second. I actually need to redo the uh, switch for those um, up top on the uh, DV8 roof rack. I have a 40 inch, I believe is what it is, curved light bar. Um, you can see there, it's kind of curved around, rough country, um, an all top awning. I'd normally put this out, but today really didn't want to mess with it. And uh, you know, there's pretty well shaded here where I'm at anyway, and no chance of rain right now, so should be fine. Um, we come, you know, up top, you see if I can hop up there and chill. Um, I do have traction boards as well as a case I can keep some recovery gear, that sort of thing in. Um, a couple of my stickers. I love stickers if you couldn't tell. I'll show you the ones on the other side. Actually, one of my favorite ones is over there. Um, billy bars on the rack and a uh, soft roll up cover. Um, I went with the billy bars just cause I do use my bed um, from time to time. And it's nice how quick, you know, I just take these out, can pop the bars out and I've got full access to the bed. Obviously I can, with a roll up cover, I can leave them on, roll up my cover if I want, put it back down, all that um, on here right now because a uh, trip we took more recently, um, I do have the bed set up for holding three bikes. Um, we have all, all of our bikes are quick release right now, so they just hook up here. And then we've got these little trays on the back where the tire goes. That bike over there, as you can tell, is a little bit too long. Um, kind of had to, you know, make it work. Um, the bed cover is actually not one. So Billy Bars, um, obviously one thing that people do with them is they like to use them with bed covers. Um, this bed cover wasn't made for them, but uh, I just kind of, you know, cut it to make it work. Um, unfortunately, it did leave a little bit of gap in there, and it's because I've moved these you know, back and forth. So I had to trim a little extra out. Um, I don't really care for my bed to, you know, it doesn't have to be super tight and really no moisture gets in here. Really, unless I like go through, go through and wash my car or something like that. Um, sorry again about the mess. Got, uh, got a little camp set up here. I'm going to do some food in a little bit. Um, but I pretty much keep everything in the back, as you can see in bins. Um, when I'm camping, it just makes it a lot easier. Um, as we come around, like I said, you can see how, how the tires mount on there. They, you know, strap the back and then if we go up here, you know, it's pretty, pretty solid. And then I keep those locked, of course. Um, oh, there's like my, you know, stickers on this side. Um, the West Virginia one I think is super cool. Um, I did, uh, the person I bought the roof rack off of, or the roof rack from, um, he did have the uh, lights on the side. He included those as well as the light bar on the front. I did not put these in just because I don't use them on the other side and uh, I don't have a switch panel yet. So I tried to limit how many I had in. Um, in the back of the truck, this is where, you know, I'm gonna keep, again, sorry about the mess. This is a last minute trip, but uh, I keep the fridge in here. Um, and then over on the other side, I do have the, uh, the Echo Flow to power it but uh, keep the fridge in the back seat. Um, and I actually have it where, you know, I took the part of the seat out for this side. That way it lays, this is completely flat and uh, kind of store everything in there, but I do leave that seat over there. Um, I got a cool little smell that is obviously awesome. Um, obviously everything's pretty much 
the same over here. Everybody knows what the uh, Tacoma is like. Um, so yeah, so that is the truck setup. Um, I do uh, for now for camping. When I first really kind of got into overlanding, I did do the rooftop tent, um, but I have recently switched over to a gazelle tent, um, the three person one, and I'll kind of do a video going in depth on that the reason why I made that switch but um so for now I do have a gazelle three person like quick pop-up tent um it does have the rain fly on right now um all the you know it's got the windows stuff like that if you go inside here sorry I got the uh, transmitter for my thing dangling um step inside if the floor is already dirty but uh this is the first time actually this weekend that i'll be using this and um right now i just have like a little uh little north face mountain uh, range blanket on top of a cot um pillow obviously i did bring a sleeping bag in case it gets a little cool um but uh yeah no i do like this um now in the three person one it is a little shorter compared to the four person one um, I'm only 5'6", and, uh, my head touches the top here in the middle. Um, if you go towards the outside, it definitely, but that doesn't really matter to me. I don't, you know, need to stand up in here that often. Um, so that's never really been a big concern of mine. Um, it is cool. You do have these little, uh, like I said, storage spots. You have like one up here. You can put some stuff. Um, you got one on that side, that side as well as that side um and like i said all the windows um they are like mesh here to keep the bugs out but you can zip them all up and uh overall just kind of first impressions um first impressions i will say is seems to be pretty nice i'm super excited to use it um the tent stakes that come with it you know like I mentioned um, before, they are a little rough, so I'm glad I got new ones on the way. But, um, but yeah, so right now, that's again, that's my setup for camping. Um, I'm super happy with it. I've loved the Toyota um, so far, and uh, it's treated me really well. Um, the one thing I've always said is if I get rid of it, I, I am going to miss, you know, I do like the wheels and the way it's starting to look. Um, but potentially in the future might be changing it up a little bit. Um, like I mentioned, you know, when I first started the bed top, uh, or rooftop tent, whatever you want to call it was what I rolled with. Um, and again, I'll, I'll kind of dig into that, but briefly, you know, it just, uh, it was super awesome. I loved it. It's almost like being in a tree house, but, uh, the only thing or how, you know, you set up quick, you don't have to fly, find a level spot on the ground. You can literally deploy it anyway anywhere um however i did learn while you didn't have to find a level spot for your tent you still had to find a decent level or decently leveled spot to park your truck um and you know like where i'm at right now would have been okay um not the worst i ended up i did keep some like leveling blocks in the back of the truck so i could you know help out a little bit but uh if not you were always slanting one way or the other and in that tent that was really uncomfortable. These are falling. Um, and the other big, the other big reason really, so like I said, that could be a pro and con depending on where you're at and how you're camping. Um, but a reason why I wanted to switch over to, you know, not just the gazelle, but like a, a ground tent, um, that could pop up pretty quick, uh, was really being able to set up camp. And if I need to leave or want to leave, drive away, um, I can always come back with the ground tent, the rooftop tent. I had a clamshell style and you had to fold everything up before you could go. Um, now I did like how fast the rooftop tent, you could deploy it and then of course pack it up when you're ready to leave. Um, so when I was looking for a ground tent to use, uh, I needed something like the quick pop up just because I didn't want to fool with um, tent poles and that sort of thing. I do that when I go backpacking, didn't want to do it overlanding. So yeah, I went with the went with the Gazelle three person tent. It's all I really need in size. Um, and also having a Tacoma, um, the bag for the three person one, um, 
when it packs up, it is actually short enough to fit in the bed straight. Um, the If you get the four person, um, you kind of have to go at an angle, you know, one way or the other to get it to fit, but not an issue with this one. So yeah, so right now, like I said, um, that's kind of my setup. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, uh, I'll put links to some of the products that I have down in the description below. Um, I think you'll, you know, the all top overland equipment awning has been awesome for the price. Um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, the Gazelle Tent have not had it long enough yet to uh, give a full recommendation on it yet or not, but uh, at first uh, glance, it seems pretty nice. Um, and like I said, if you're thinking of rooftop tent or ground tent, definitely be on the lookout for my video comparing the two of those here soon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. And uh, look to uh, hear from you guys and make future videos.